sun on that mountain is just amazing. I almost want to go up to the church and film that. But I also want to be down by the river. I don't know. I think you can see it all up there. Look at this town. Look at this. I say, you want to go up to Hog Alley, through Hog Alley, and you want to. go up to the church? This is Hog Alley. Tina and I are in Harper's Ferry. You can't see Tina, but uh, we're in Harper's Ferry, West Virginia. And uh, come here quite often. Awesome little town. Yeah, the cool thing about Hog Alley, which we just went up, is supposed to be really haunted. Uh, there's a story about how we're on Hog Alley, they would basically toss the people that they killed into the to the hogs right through there oh look at the sky hello So one of the stories was the people in the town captured one of John Brown's men and fed him to the hogs after they killed him, I guess to hide the evidence. But they probably didn't really care. So it's just a crazy time. St. Peter's Roman Catholic Church. Beautiful. And right there you can see where the Potomac and Shenandoah rivers come together It is gorgeous. It's beautiful. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. <laughs> ghost in all these rooms and one historian said that there was not a square foot of Harper's Ferry that's not haunted it's seen a lot so residual energy no matter what but this is one of our favorite places
Mr. John Brown himself. Free the slaves. Oh, that's cool. You can hear the church bells. Coach House Barn Grill. It's not open. Oh, man. It would be so good right now. Yes. Oh, gosh. The Stone House Bread and Breakfast. That would be a great place to stay in. No vacancy right now. Oh, the tree, look how pretty. That is pretty. That'd be cool to stay in that wreck there. Oh, we've been in there. That's a cool place with the candy. Historic candy. That's cool. And here's a little ice cream shop. When you come here, just get the ice cream. We, bur we ordered a burger here one time and just get the ice cream. Unless they have new owners, just <laughs> just get the ice cream. Exactly. <laughs> One of the reasons that uh, Meriwether Lewis started here because he knew that Harper's Ferry had the water power, the iron ore, the craftsmen, and the tools to make the supplies he would need on this trip. So that is pretty cool. 1803. Pretty cool. I mean, Harper's Ferry, you feel like you've gone back in time. Church on the hill right there. Confluence of the Potomac and Shenandoah Rivers. The moon is coming out behind those clouds. sign here you probably can't see it but it says the Pencoyo or Pincoid I think it's Pencoyo Bridge and Construction Company 
from Pencoyo, Pennsylvania, 1893. Wow. So during the Civil War, Harper's Ferry was changed hands once, went from the Union back to the Confederate many times because it was such important land and you could control the waterways here, the railroad, they had rich uh, iron ore so it was a big important spot that's why it's so much important in history the, a lot of battles and it was the what happened here with john brown was the what they ca called john brown is the meteor to the war because he's the one that really highlighted the uh the desire to free the slaves in the south and uh so that became a big big issue obviously heading into the Civil War so that was in 1859 October of 1859 and John Brown held the little arsenal for like 36 hours and his desire was to get the ammunition and the weapons here take that and go down south but when the, the word came from to DC that uh, the arsenal had been raided uh, so for 36 hours took a little while for Robert E. Lee who was then a Union officer came over and captured John Brown and uh, that was it so what do you think about that honey look at that building I'll see it later honey my eyes are frozen <laughs> She's right because it is like 20 something we are freezing. <laughs>